practice doesn't necessarily make perfect. It's about the process which leads to doing stuff, getting acquainted with everything. Perfection, sure, is nice if you have enough time, if you're willing to put all your energy in there and even then. But how about just getting acquainted with everything that you're doing, making it a process that runs smoothly. So what are we talking about? For instance, if I look at what I did recently, accountancy, I had to get all the stuff, stuff out there, you know, quarterly, VAT, taxes. And well, it's not my favorite thing to do because I have to get all my data from everywhere. So the the core of everything, of course, is is what I've earned and, and spent uh, in my business. And well, I've got one account, which is my bank account, my business bank account, and everything has to be retraceable to that part. But of course, back in the days, we also had cash. <laughs> I'm, I'm not using that cash uh, anymore. I'm, I'm glad that that's over and done with. So it's now just the bank. And then we have PayPal, we have credit cards, and then there's, of course, my own personal bank account. And PayPal is so nice that every now and then it just, what's meant for the, the business account is being withdrawn from the private account and vice versa. So why on earth am I talking about accountancy? Well, not because I am uh, so fond of numbers, although some good mathematics could be nice. But what I want to say is it's about a system. Every time I, I do it, I'm 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 realizing that things become easier. I'm more aware of the, the little things that I can actually do to make things easier. So for instance, every time I now uh, send an invoice to people, I print it straight away, put it out there. Uh, so I don't have to print it all at the same time when I'm actually spending all my time on getting that stuff out there, which I do want every quarter. It's about knowing which brands, if you want to call it that way, or services I, I use the most, like Apple, for instance. So if I know, if I just do a search for Apple, then, you know, PayPal gets used for a lot, but Apple is pretty specific, and so I go through my mail, find all my Apple, then already have all the all the invoices, and 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 next it's about okay doing the same thing when it comes to PayPal. So I can well just by holding the the invoices from Apple against that one bank account, of course, I can already see that it's not in the statement. So, you know, that has lit up with the other one. Again, it's not here about accountancy and all that stuff. But what it is about is becoming familiar with the whole process, becoming familiar with, okay, how can I do things more easily? For instance, when I, I print one thing that, um, you know, like an energy bill. So every month, same energy bill comes. Um, and I have all of those printed at the same time. And let's put the code on there at the same time. So I don't have to do that again. It's, it's just those little things which makes the process run more smoothly. Is it perfect? No, not at all. But does it become easier? Oh, absolutely. Because every time I look at it, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense and that makes sense. Now, if I look a little bit further, then it's about creating overview. And every time I do so, I realize, oh, I've been paying for this, that and the other, but I'm not using it. And I'm using also this, that and the other. Mm, okay, you know what? Let's get rid of this, <laughs> let's stop that, and let's switch things around. 
those are things that are also the result of doing that same accountancy every quarter. And actually, that's a good thing, because then we go to the bigger picture, which is, I want to get stuff out there. And what is it I need? How much do I spend on it? Do I actually spend it on the right stuff? Or is there stuff that I actually don't need anymore? How much are they charging? What can I do more efficiently? And especially if I look at the one thing that I want to do, and then we come to leaving the legacy, does all of this add up to fulfilling that one dream? Or was it, oh, that's actually kind of nice, that's kind of nice, oh, let's look at this, instead of focusing on the main thing. Well, today I talked to um, the accountant and, well, they made a remark about, okay, so you're doing two separate things, um, but you do get some equipment and other stuff, which is for the online stuff. And, well, you do need to think about what you're using for what. And I was like, yeah, that's true. And it just um, confirms what I've been thinking all along. It's time to make things matter. As in, I've got it, now it needs to get out there. Not only by posting on social media, but also making it possible for anyone out there to get coaching, to get the training, to go on the trip. And I do talk about it, but how often are you capable of purchasing it? Not very often. And well, I guess that needs to change. So people, when they're interested in, oh, that actually sounds cool, they can actually do something about it. And more importantly, I can see the statistics. Are people actually interested in doing all that stuff? And yes, if I want to see the statistics, then certain things need to be invested in. And then we get back to full circle to, hey, what am I spending money on? What am I earning money from? And what is it that I want to achieve in the long run? And I believe that it's very important to keep on working on one thing as long as that's leading towards that what I want to leave as a legacy. And by focusing on it and looking at it from different angles, instead of going and running around uh, from left to right, up and down, Let's let's stick to that one thing. Let's try all other options. Let's sort it out. That's what I'm doing. And when I talk about the process, so um, practice makes perfect. Well, perfect might not be necessary and it might not be the one thing that you want at all. But what you do want when it comes to, for instance, leaving a legacy, then we're talking about what can we do to work on that part? And is perfection necessary for one specific thing? I don't think so. But is it necessary to focus on how to improve what you're working on towards that legacy? Oh yeah, absolutely. And again, it's about things getting smoother, things getting easier, getting the overview, getting like, okay, this is what matters and all else, details. And when you get that part, I think then that you've come a long way. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I think, believe that when you know what it is you want and you get to work on it and you see what matters, isn't that already pretty close to perfection? Do we really need more? Well, that's today's my Monday motivational message. And well, I would like to hear how you feel about these things. So do you believe in practice makes perfect? Or is it practice makes things go smoother? And if so, how is that helping you? Let me know.
want to see more Monday morning messages, then click here, go there, yes, right there.